Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of J. Mac. Man, remember I told y'all that my neighbor, Cowboy Bob here, his house is all depreciating my property value. But look, man, all this rain made, made a fucking tree grow through his truck, man. There's literally a tree growing through a fucking truck living to me next door. And it's hotter than a motherfucker. I'm out here sitting on this hot ass concrete. You see, my, my unboxing spot is shady again. And I want you guys to get this in the right light because I got something a little exclusive for you guys today. It took a while to get here because it came from Germany. What? Mac, why are you getting shoes from Germany today? Well, I'll tell you why. Because these shoes only released in Europe and I actually hit on them from the US. Which is really, oh man, this shit is taped like a mother fucker coming across these. <laughs> but it's, it's funny because I was on live stream with uh, the Retro Wiz Kid and Topps World and them and they were uh, trying to cop these and I actually got through and picked up uh, Damn, look at this shit, man. UPS International, what is you doing, man? Y'all fucked my box up. I don't even know if StockX would take that. They probably would. I've gotten boxes worse than that from StockX. But we have the Yeezy Boost 350. Antlia, Antlia, Antlia. Size US 11 and a half. I would have liked to get a size 12, but, you know, size 12 is a little harder to get. So let's go ahead and pop these open. These are the European exclusive Yeezy Antilas. And I got these off of the store uh, All Like, A Leak. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's All Like, but uh, I, I didn't even want these, to be honest. I mean, I, I was just trying to get these just because, you know, I, I, I guess I was going to sell them on StockX and, you know, resale kind of tanked on them. But I'm actually kind of feeling this. This this ain't bad at all. That uh, I thought that was going to be gray, but it's not. That's sort of like, do you see it? It's like a lavender color. Almost like, uh, you know, the, the steel color that's on the McChickens, the the. Uh, what are they, the semi-frozen yellow Yeezys? Yo, that is, that is dope. And look at this, look at this. I see you, Adidas. I see you releasing these style Yeezys with the translucent mesh stripe with, with no, uh, no heel tab, right? And all y'all motherfuckers that said I was stupid for cutting off my heel tab on the uh this the white statics and said it looked better remember i did that i did that like five six months ago and y'all motherfuckers said yo that shit looks dumb as fuck why are you doing that it's because even adidas realized that the pool tabs on these static style yeezys look weird they look good it looks hot on the uh the pirate black joints the uh static blacks but on on other ones like this i like it with that stripe continuing around looks looks a lot better looks a lot cleaner you know there's a, the pool tab sometimes just looks a little bulky especially with this stripe sometimes they don't line up properly and that's what happened with my statics they were all crooked and going up and shit like a jordan 6 uh spoiler wing in the back nah man nah but uh these these are actually fire i wasn't expecting that let's take a look they like, I was expecting these to be, like, like static butters, you know? But these are actually more, like, static version of those McChickens. Look, you can see it right there in that area. That's actually lavender, like a real light purple, like that cold steel color. And them semi-frozen yellows, man. Yeah, I, I fucks with these, man. I fucks with these pretty goddamn hard, actually. Man, I, I I know I was gonna sell these, but after after seeing them in hand, they they remind me of the semi frozen yellows. I I might have to keep these, especially with them being exclusive to the Euros, man. Ain't, ain't nobody in America gonna have these. I'll rock these. Fuck yeah, man. 
Ah, shit. So let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section down below. I just, I got lucky fucking around on live stream with the Retro Wiz Kid. Shout out to the Retro Wiz Kid, yo. I fucks with the Retro Wiz Kid pretty goddamn hard. I'll put his link down in the description. Y'all don't know who he is. Go find out. Go learn you some today. Because if it wasn't for him telling me that these were releasing and he was trying to cop a pair, you know, I wouldn't even have this. So, you know, shout out, Retro. You know, I fucks with you, man. But I'm, I'm about to get the fuck out of here. I don't want to cut this video too short. But, man, I am sitting on this ground. And this ground is hotter than a motherfucker. My ass is burning. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Get the fuck out of here. Peace.